Is it the right time to make a decision on the SPY ETF? Today, we're delving deeper into the SPY. Our initial report was shared on our website on Thursday, April 18th, 2024, and now we're bringing you a more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of any updates that could impact your investments. Empower your trading choices with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access AI predictions and thorough analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide for free. Please remember, this video serves for informational purposes only and should not be misconstrued as financial advice. Since April 17, 2024, our system has rated SPY as a hold accumulate with a score of minus 0 0.44. Now, let's delve into how the stock has performed during this period. Despite some natural fluctuations, SPY currently shows a loss of 0.22% since our initial recommendation of hold accumulate. This translates to an average daily loss of 90.011% since it was designated as a hold accumulate stock. The current three-month trend indicates a potential 6.44% change in the next quarter, with a projected return ranging from 6.44% to 13.15%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a forecasted 23.57% change over the next year, with an expected return between 13.35% and 30.93%. This could lead to a price range of $566.04 as $653.94 after 12 months. Our latest update for SPY reveals that the ETF price dropped by 0.221% on Thursday. On Thursday, April 18, 2024, the SPY ETF price decreased from $500.55 to $499.45, marking a five-day consecutive decline. Throughout the trading day, the ETF ranged from a low of $498.56 to a high of $504.13, experiencing a 1.2% fluctuation. Over the past 10 days, the price has fallen six times, resulting in a total decline of 2.67%. Notably, the trading volume decreased by 3 million shares, aligning with the ETF movement. A total of 67 million shares were exchanged, totaling approximately 33.64 billion. Looking back over the last 52 weeks, the ETF's highest price was 504 dozen, while the lowest was 403 and 74 cents. At present, the price stands at 499.55, which is 4.8% or $25.07 below the 52-week high of 24.61, also marking the all-time high for the ETF. Here are the signals identified for SPY. Currently, there are few to no technical positive signals for the SPY ETF. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate sell signals, suggesting a negative forecast for the stock. Additionally, a general sell signal is present from the relation between the two signals, where the long-term average is above the short-term average. Resistance levels are seen at 507.29 cents and 514.39, with a potential buy signal if these levels are surpassed. A sell signal was triggered from a pivot top point on Wednesday, March 27, 2024, resulting in a 4.53% decrease. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is identified. There is also a current sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume decreased alongside the price during the last trading day, reducing overall risk as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, sell signal, 16 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal nine days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal eight days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal four days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal eight days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 110 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 99 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Exploring support, risk, and stop loss for SPY, SPY sees support from accumulated volume at 
offering a potential buying opportunity as an upward reaction is anticipated when this support level is tested. With its controlled movements and high liquidity, the ETF carries minimal risk. In the last trading day, SPY fluctuated by 5.57 or 1.2% between its high and low points. Over the past week, the ETF has shown a daily average volatility of 1.41%. Let's delve into potential day trading levels for SPY. In an upward trend, the initial resistance level for SPY stands at $509.67. If you're not holding any shares, consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For current stockholders, this level could be ideal for swing trading. On the flip side, SPY faces its first support level at 494 eighths. Should this support level hold, it may serve as a favorable entry point with a possible rebound in sight. Our recommended stop loss is set at $474.61, reflecting a decrease of 4.97%. This ETF displays minimal daily fluctuations, translating to lower risk. With a low RSI 14 of 24, the risk is further mitigated. Additionally, a sell signal was identified from a pivot top observed 15 days ago. Is this PY ETF a good investment? Despite holding several negative signals, SPY could potentially turn around, making it a hold candidate for now. Keep an eye on further developments. Our analysis shows that the current price of SPY is undervalued based on recent volatility and market movements. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, April 19th, we anticipate SPY to open up at 127 and start trading at 571. It's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Before making any investment decisions, it's advisable to consult with a financial advisor. Please be aware that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you are acknowledging and assuming responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current perspective on the stock. Share your views in the comments. Do you agree or disagree? What target do you have in mind for the ETF? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for successful trading. Have a wonderful day, courtesy of the Stock Invest team.